Hi there, I'm Laura. This is week one of Moving at the Museum. This week is the body and storytelling. So go ahead and find a little bit of space for yourself and join us. So we're gonna start in a strong body pose. And you can have your legs kind of together or apart, whatever is comfortable. I just want you to focus on building up. So we're gonna start with our feet firmly planted here. And we are gonna work our, all, our, all of our toes should be on the ground. We're gonna work upwards through our calves, up, up, up into our thighs, our hips, our stomach. Make sure your pelvis is tucked and your core, your stomach, whatever is tight. Go ahead and come up. Your chest should be lifted, your chin should be lifted. Shoulders down, head up, okay? so. As we're grounding down, our energy is moving up. It should feel like we might have a cord, marionette doll or something coming up through our head. All of our energy is going up, okay? We're gonna start here. We're gonna focus on our strength. So I want you to close your eyes and just, if you're sitting, that's fine, and sit up straight and just think about where your strengths are physically, right? Think about the parts of you that are strong and also think about the parts of you that might be hurting a little bit right now. They might be sore. You might be sad. <clears throat> listen to those parts and also listen to the parts of you that are strong and telling you they can do more. Go ahead and stand here. Just think about that. And start to feel your breathing. breath. As soon as things get away from us, our breath tends to get away from us, focusing us back there in our center, <clears throat> on our life source. So joyous. If you want, you can feel your breath. Just standing like that can get you a little, maybe break a sweat or just start to feel it already in your legs, <clears throat> in your back. So from here, we're just gonna start with a slow head roll. Loosen up the neck, the shoulders. Whatever way is useful for you, if you wanna go just side to side around, big circles, let it hang in front, let gravity pull it a little, and up and through the back, let it hang in the back. You might feel this one all the way down your spine like I do. And come up, and now we're going to do a little bit more stretching in the neck. We're going to turn over our right shoulder. Make sure you're looking behind your right shoulder, maybe where your peripheral vision is. And you'll feel it down your back and down your spine. And center and left. Center again, one more time. Right. And center, <clears throat> left. And center. Great, okay, so now that we're warmed up and we know our strengths and we've warmed up our necks, we are gonna move into some plies. Plies are my absolute favorite way to stretch. You're gonna have your feet out in a first position. A first position is kind of a V, just a small angle. You wanna make sure you're not rolling either out or in. Both of those are hard on your knees. So you wanna be here so that when you plie, you're gonna make a nice diamond, right? You can either have your hands here or your arms here and you can feel free to use a wall or a window seal or the back of a chair or whatever might help you balance. Or if you wanna just take up space, you can do that too. So we're gonna do two demis, two smalls, and a large one that's gonna be more like a big squat. And we'll start here, and arms open. We're gonna do them four times, ready? Demi, up, demi, 
up and get ready for that grand. Make sure your pelvis is tucked. I just noticed mine wasn't. Grab your core and you're going to go down. You're going to make sure everything's aligned. You're not going to fall forward and you're not going to fall back. And as you come up, you're going to push, 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 push your heels into the floor. When you get up, you're going to do a check, a body scan again. Make sure your elbows are up, your arms are gently curled. If you want them here, that's totally fine. Make sure your pelvis is tucked and your, your abdomen is all tight. Neck is up, chin is up, and again, demi, up, demi, up, grand, and push as soon as you can into the ground. Up, two more, demi, your heels do not need to touch. Time to work on your balance. One more and demi, soft arms. Up, rounded, demi. Up, ground. And push and up. Now we're going to come to a second. Our second's going to look a little bit different. Make sure it's nice and wide. Staying turned out, <laughs> pulling your thighs up, making sure your pelvis stays tucked and your abs up. I keep saying pelvis stays tucked because it's really easy to just stick out your back and bend here, which looks a lot like this, instead of bending up, right? So we wanna make sure these are down, these are up, everything is stacked over the center. So our plie should look like this from the side. So we're gonna be in second position. This one's gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna move into a releve at the end and hold our balance. You can hold it as long as you want, or if you're not really sure about it, you can kind of hold it on one foot and just kind of work your ankles like that. Again, feel free to use the back of a chair, the wall, the window seal, whatever works for you. Ready? Demi. Up. Another demi. Up and a grand. Here we go. Grand. Pelvis tucked. Up. And releve. Push, push, push into your toes and down. Again. Do a body scan, make sure everything's tucked. Tuck, up, dummy, up, grand, up, and stretch. Push everything into the ground. And up, two more. Do you feel graceful? You should feel graceful. Grand, up, and stretch. The whole point of this stretch is to, for you to get whatever out of it you need. If you don't love it, just go ahead and come back down nicely. You do not have to hold it. And our last one, this will be our best one. Down, push those feet into the floor, and stretch. Hold it if you can, if you don't want to. Go ahead and let go and stretch it out. If you're still holding it, you can play around with your arms. Challenge yourself, and then you can let it go when you need to. You might want to push into those hips a little bit, work it out, move them a different way, or shake out those calves, ankles, whatever you need to do. Okay, now we're gonna work on porta bras, which is kind of what we were doing with the arms, except this, this one, there is no waist option. So you can put your arms here, in the big beach ball arms, if you haven't done this before. You're holding a big ball, they're not touching, your elbows are up, like you have a lot here, right? Like you're carrying it like this. If you're not comfortable with that, you can continue to keep rounded arms, but hold them like this. That looks a lot more like stretches we're familiar with. So if you want a little bit more of a challenge, not using them to hold each other, or you can hold them with each other and that's totally fine. So here, you can, you're gonna stay in second just for comfort level. Go ahead and we're gonna start in the center where our arms will start, always start. Bring it down, make sure everything's the same, everything's strong. This should be its own workout, right? This should, you should feel this a little bit in your shoulders, in your back, in your pelvis, in your legs. Back to the center. Bring it up. When it's up, it's not above your head. It's up in front of you. You should be able to see it up here. Shoulders down. You're moving up, even though things are grounding. 
the paradox of ballet. When you go to the back, you're going to go up and back. And you'll feel the stretch all the way down your back. It's not about how much you can curve. It's about going up and then wherever that up takes you, leaning it back. Once you're up here, you're going to stay up and you're going to go up to the right. Don't fall into that hip, but stay straight up to the right. It's going to stretch down here like we know. Center. Up and to the left. Center. We're going to do that a few more times. Down. Up. Up. Up and back. Oof. Up. To the side. Up. To the side. Again. Down. Center. Up. Up and back. Feels a lot like our morning stretches. Up. <laughs> up. To the side. Up the side one more your arms might be burning a little bit that's fine center and down center up up into the back up to the side up to the other side bring it down into a swan dive bend your legs generously you can have your hands on the ground or you can hold your arms if you're not all the way down that's okay you can fall wherever you are even if that's just being heavy here giving your legs some motion so go ahead fall here if you need to swing a little bit work it out that's fine just enjoy your heaviness enjoy gravity's pull You're going to come up to a halfway bend and here you want to flat back so make sure your back is here not here and not here right you want to have a flat back straight legs and you're going to bring your arms up again you can do it here or here and if you're not quite able to get that bend that's fine you can do it here or you can have your arms out here and it'll work too okay so we're going halfway arms up and we're going to pulse 10 times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You should fill it in your calves. Go ahead and drop, bend your knees. And again, halfway, work on that flat back. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And drop. When you're down here this time, Go ahead and try to put your fingertips on the floor, hold hands if you want to. If you're not there, you can do it up here and you can lunge with us to the sides. Kind of work them out this way. If you're down here, go ahead and keep your hands where they are and push into your right hip and lunge with your left. You can feel that stretch along your thigh and center and lunge it to the left. Do it some reverse please here. Up, go ahead and do it again to the right. Up to the left. Up. And roll up really slowly as you do. Bring your feet in a little. Feel your back uncurl and your neck uncurl. Okay. The last thing we're gonna do before we cool down our releves, we did these a little bit with our second position plies, and these are gonna work your ankles and your calves and your thighs. I love these, you will break a sweat. Um, there are some modifications. So if you are, we're gonna rise slowly and down. We're gonna do it four slow times, and then we're gonna double time it. Um, another way to do this and get the same sort of stretch in your foot is to one foot. Again, you can use the back of a chair or a wall to go on your toes on one foot. And as you switch to the other foot, you're going to push through. So you will have both feet up and you're, that will have to, you'll have to pull yourself up, push and push. And if you think about your heel pushing your other heel up, so this heel goes down and this heel goes up. 
like um, one of those <laughs> one of those ball things. Ready? Yeah. So like that, and you're gonna push and push. And so if you're doing that on a chair, that's totally fine. If you're doing it the way I'm gonna do it in first position, come back to first. Hands can be on your hips, or if you want an extra challenge, hands can be out here, whichever you want. If you're comfortable here or here, just don't let them fly. You want control. And we're gonna rise for four counts and lower for four counts. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. That slow rise. One, two, three, four. It's even better if your heels barely touch, no weight on them. Four, one, two, four. If you need to come down whole footed, that's fine. One, two, three, four. Last one, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna double time it now. Again, if you don't wanna double time it or if you wanna double time it here, that's totally fine. But if you're more comfortable going at the slower pace, that's totally fine, whatever works your entire leg. Ready? And one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. You can go even faster if you want, making sure everything stays still from here up. This is a fun thing to do, especially slowly, not as weird. Uh, if you're brushing your teeth, cooking dinner, anything like that. And it's just a nice way to work your ankles, work your calves, work your thighs, work your pelvis and your core, just to bring everything up and hold it together. Dig your toes to the ground. This one is also good. Not, it lets you not worry about your balance while you're still getting those thigh and ankle exercises. Okay, so now if your heart rate's up, we're gonna end where we started, coming full circle. Notice your breathing, notice your body, notice what it might not have liked, or maybe what it did like about the last 20 minutes. Hold on to your breath. Find it. Bring your arms down into something that might look like a mountain pose. You can un turn out your legs, come to a parallel position, and focus here being grateful for the air that you have in your lungs on what your body is telling you right now by how you're breathing focus on your anatomy on that spine on your skeleton like the skeleton behind me where does it ache where does it feel good and dance it out a little bit. Let yourself be loose. Just feel free in your body. And you can stay and meditate here if you need to or want to. Otherwise, thank you for joining us today.